Hi everyone. Uh, we did an event this past weekend for Recognize Fascism, uh, which is out tomorrow in paperback and um, is out already in ebook. Um, but we did not get a chance to talk about anyone's bookshelves and I was asked to uh, give a shelfie, um, which I have to do by video because we have lots of books. Um, even just in our fiction collection, even just in the room that's the fiction collection that's uh, not YA and middle grade and kid lit books, uh, which is this room. It's the entire room. So um, I'm going to give you a very brief, hopefully, uh, video tour. Um, so over here we have, well, we have some gaming books and uh, comic book trade paperbacks on the very top shelf, but starting the fiction collection, we have uh, some Daniel Abraham, um, we have uh, Jane Austen and the, the end of the Margaret Atwood books here, some Babylon 5 books, um, Louisa May Alcott, um, we have uh, Michelle Baker, uh, Peter Beagle, uh, we have a lot of Kelly Armstrong, who was my first sci-fi con guest of honor for the first con I chaired. Um, we have the beginning of the Margaret Atwood books. Um, and uh, then moving down, uh, Kristen Kishore, um, uh, Dickens, um, we have Octavia Butler books, of course. Um, we have Lois Moore Faster Bejeweled. Uh, this book is actually a handbound copy of uh, my friend Vicka Corey's uh, Vampire at Magical MIT novel, uh, which I love and which is actually not uh, published. Um, but um, I love that book, so I asked for a, a handbound copy. Um, Danielle Clayton, uh, Marie Brennan, I love Marie Brennan's books, uh, Zen Cho, Ta Chung, uh, Ray Bradbury, uh, uh, a very old copy of Don Quixote, <laughs> Willie Cather, um, Andre Debut, uh, Corinne. Uh, oh, look at the camera, make sure it's on straight. <laughs> um, uh, Kate Elliott. Um, oh, over here, uh, Mira Grant, which I file separately from, uh, from Seanan McGuire. Also some Andrea Hairston books. Uh, we got on here. We have a lot of books. Um, a few Neil Gaiman's. Um, A.M. Holmes. Really got into A.M. Holmes for a while. Uh, Laura N. Gilman. Max Gladstone's. A lot of Max Gladstone's. I love Max Gladstone's work. Um, I, let's see. Um, Barbara Kingsolver, uh, Hidden Youth, uh, Heather Rose Jones, uh, I love her work as well, lesbian fantasy novels, yes please, um, Hao Jin Fan's new book, uh, the N.K. Jemison section, uh, Toby Johnson, uh, Emmy Taranta, uh, Ray Bear. Uh, I have not yet read this book, but I've heard great things, so it just arrived. Um, the Cameron Hurley books. Um, and moving over here. Oh, um, a painting by a local artist, Rachel Mello, who does fantastic work. Um, really love her stuff and some photos of my friends, uh, including a silly photo of me pretending to be in a rock band. Um, and actually, 
Uh, there are three sci-fi authors in this rock band photo, uh, if you include me, uh, which I have been working on my fiction again, so I would include me. Uh, so the K's start up here, <laughs> um, and then the L's, uh, Glenda Lark, uh, Anne Leckie's, I love Anne Leckie's work, uh, Fonda Lee, um, oh, I'm missing a couple of Fonda Lee's there, <laughs> uh, Yoon Ha Lee, I wonder who I've lent books out to, um, the Ken Liu section, uh, including books edited by Ken Liu, um, Let's see, um, moving down here, um, lots of Anne McCaffrey books. Um, that's a large portion of my childhood right there. Uh, I once dressed up in a Manali costume uh, for Halloween when I was 13. I made my own fire lizards. Uh, it was very popular. It was very popular in school. Yeah. Um, more Sean and McGuire books. Um, and uh, Foz Meadows books, um, and uh, Nettie Okorafor's books, and uh, the beginning of Daniel Jose Older books over there, um, and my Haruki Murakami section. Uh, I love Haruki Murakami. I uh, really got into him in college too. Uh, the rest of my Daniel Jose Older books, as well as uh, Daniel Sibling Monk Older, uh, Ada Palmer and Suzanne Palmer, um, and moving around here, uh, uh, Waist Tide by Chen Jifan. Uh, it's a friend of mine too. Uh, uh, Hanu Rayaniemi. Um, Kaleidoscope, which is an anthology. Um, and uh, so anthologies I file by editor um, in my, in this portion of the bookshelves. Um, and uh, Scalzi, of course, and Sophia Samatar. Um, it's very difficult to read backwards and uh, hold the camera steady. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Um, I, more. Oh, um, this starts my Star Wars section of the library, uh, which I file under Star Wars uh, so that they are all together and they are legion, um, and they're uh, by publication date um, or order in the timeline when possible. Um, I, I mean, it's Anne McCaffrey and Star Wars are how I got into sci-fi, so um, I have a lot of those novels. Um, this top shelf is stuff I'm still figuring out. Um, those are comics to file, and these are uh, some things I'm not sure where to file, and also uh, my contributor copies of things. So, uh, Trial by Whiteness, edited by Jamie Goh. I have an essay in that. Uh, the Writer's Book of Doubt, edited by Aidan Doyle. I have an essay in that on imposter syndrome. And then, of course, uh, Recognize Fascism, edited by me. Uh, which is out in paperback tomorrow, um, and there is not a copy of Resist Fascism on here. I think I lent it out at the beginning of the pandemic, and I think I'm not getting back, so I should figure out how to get a different copy, or a new copy of that book. Um, anyway, um, going back to the, the alphabetical segment of the bookshelves, um, we've got, um, As a Driven Leaf, um, uh, going back to the STs in the section, um, Jean Stratton Porter. These books are actually, these were my grandmother's books and then my mother's and now they're mine. Um, Trisha Sullivan, uh, Cecilia Tan. I think I have a few more Cecilia Tans as well. Uh, Sean Tan, uh, the Transcendent books, um, uh, 
Namen's books. Um, where's the other Namen book that's out? Um, he's got another one coming out soon, I hope, the third book in this trilogy. Uh, anyway, um, Tolkien, of course, um, the Cat Valente segment of the library, um, the Vandermeer segment of the library, um, anthologies edited by Jeff and Anne, as well as um, Jeff's uh, sci-fi books. Um, uh, world science fiction edited by Francesco Verso, uh, Ink by Sabrina, oh, this was such an intense book, um, Joe Walton, um, down here we've got Virginia Woolf, including Virginia Woolf's, uh, nonfiction letters and essays and whatnot, um, Connie Willis, Fran Wilde, uh, Martha Wells, of course, um, and Rebecca Kimwell's um, Keeping Good Company with Martha Wells. Um, and the very bottom shelf, um, Neon Young, um, Jane Yolen, uh, and Charles Yu, and Timothy Zahn. Um, I got really into Timothy Zahn books uh, when I was a teen as well. Um, so that is the uh, fiction that's mostly adult fiction uh, section of my library, which is probably the section most of interest to folks. Um, and oh, uh, this is a piece of art by my friend Robin Scott. Um, and it's... Uh, a friend of mine is also posing for the human figure in this. Um, I'm not sure which of the two, the dragon or the person, is the one defending the library, but I'm convinced that this is a depiction of defending the New York Public Library, um, and that's why that's one of the pieces of art in this book, in this room. Anyway, this is possibly way too long, but uh, if you are interested, these are my bookshelves. Um, and uh, most of my fiction collection is now entered into librarything.com um, and if you're interested you can friend me there and see what else is on my bookshelves. Um, so I, I hope this was interesting for you and um, this is why I can't just take a shelfie um, in one photo. Uh, take care everyone. Um, really appreciate everyone's support for Recognized Fascism, and I hope you are having uh, as good a time as possible and staying healthy and safe. Um, thanks so much for your support. Take care. Bye.